Wow, finally uploaded another video. Huh, I wonder what people think. I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's take a shot at this. I'm gonna teach what some of you guys seem to consider the tune style. No, 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 Steg. I want to make this type of stuff. Oh, well, do you know how to paint? No. Oh. Oh, well, do you want to learn how to paint? Does wanting to learn how to paint over account? Uh, okay, here we go. There are ways to do paint over as well without knowing how to draw in the first place, but unless you know how form works, you won't be able to do specific things as well. Oh. No, no, it's okay, because you can still do simple paint overs. Like, I can argue what I've been doing for the majority of my SFM career probably wasn't due to my drawing abilities. But I still recommend you learn how to draw, but that's for the next video, I guess, if it ever finishes. Let's go over the mistakes I see first. Some people just magic wand select the whole chunks of the SFM and fill it in. While there are ways to make that work, they don't do it right. Let me teach you a little bit of design theory. I don't know much about design theory. When dealing with graphical types of art, unlike 3D rendered out stuff, you heavily rely on shape appeal and color theory rather than just lighting. 3D stuff also relies on shape design, but for a beginner explanation, I feel like this works. For people who don't draw, this isn't really possible. Shape appeal is a very complex skill. It deals with things like keeping readability from a far distance while still having a very high appeal level, which can be very confusing for people who don't draw. <laughs> With research and practice, maybe you can get good at it, but for now, we're going to be doing a little bit of a merge between purely graphical and 3D renders. Alright, you got your poster. I quickly whip this one up. Now, just like in my other tutorials, I'm going to focus on teaching you all the important principles rather than just making cool looking art. For those of you who follow me around, you know that I'm someone who draws a bit, so I tried to make this tutorial approachable to those who don't draw. The ultimate tip I've been giving out since the beginning of my tutorials is mess around with your stuff until you like it. If what you're looking at doesn't look at least decent to you, it probably doesn't look decent to other people. Keyword is decent. Sometimes we are our worst critics. So to start this off, I have a few tools in Photoshop I like to mess with. Last year, I would almost entirely use mixer brushes and smudging, which does work, sometimes even better than the way I'm about to primarily use, but Understanding how to use the same thing in different ways will heavily benefit you in the future. Your SFM poster should have good lighting that shows off the form well, because if it doesn't show off the form well, this might be interesting for you. Hey, yeah, can you trace? I hope so. Good. Before we begin, I want you all to keep in mind that the goal is to get rid of excess information, but keep the most important parts in the simplest way possible while still keeping the appeal. We start off by making a duplication of the layer, Control J. Then you can use either the magic wand, quick selection, or polygonal lasso tool to select parts of the material or light value. Then you just get a giant soft brush, pick a color, maybe eye drop from an artwork you like, or as long as it matches the atmosphere of what you're going for. Make sure the brush is slightly transparent too, or it'll be overkill. Keep this in mind. The more something falls into shadows, not only does it get dark, but it also gets more saturated. Unless you're going for a more Batman cold-hearted cool boy look. Now every few minutes, flip back to your original render and check if your form is showing correctly. Remember the Valve portrait tutorial? It's kind of like that. Just make sure you're lining everything up as you go. Your goal is to simplify all the rendered forms into a more basic gradating shapes. The trick to making something look slightly rendered and not just a flat color is slightly shifting the values with distance. If you don't know what value is, basically just not the same RGB color. You don't have the hue shift, no that's not value, just not the same exact coordinate on the dumb scale. <laughs> Try to imagine how the light is working to make it really pop. Now the rest of the process is pretty much the same, which is why it's a more simple way of doing a paint over, but I just wanted to make one mistake painfully clear because I have a feeling I know it'll happen. Control your edges. Even though it's a soft edge, this is not okay, which is why you have to use a bigger brush while lasso selecting to make a sharp edge. Keep this in mind, unless you know how to paint, if you want a sharp edge, involve a selection. Try to make sure all your edges to all the parts are clean, and if it doesn't look right, 
like mine, just keep going back to your original render to see what you're doing wrong. Remember, it's basically tracing, so it's not that hard. Remember, it's okay to take your time. I did this in about 40 minutes because I had other things to do, but if you spend your time at it, it should look fairly polished. And if your thing looks a bit off, that's okay. It might take a little bit of time to get used to if you've never done it before. I like to select chunks of stuff on the original render and use that as a layout on my paint over since it usually buries the layer in mistakes. By the way, one year ago, me would tell you just to smudge all the stuff around to mix it up which kind of works. If you want to try that, go ahead. I just think soft brushing is probably faster. One last thing before I head out, make sure you're looking at art that gives you the reference you need for the type of style you're going for. For beginner and intermediate painting over people, I would just stick to SFM. But if you're more familiar with painting in general, you could look at other types of artwork. But if you do know how to paint, I probably didn't need to tell you that. <laughs> If you want to show me what you get out of this, tweet it at me, or maybe send it to my Discord server. Okay, bye.